I have a seven foot ten Channel Islands Waterhog. Also, same thing. Surf Tech mm -hmm. Tough Flight Construction. Okay. Um, as my friend would say, they they're so strong they they would outlive a uh, nuclear apocalypse. Nice. And um, that Channel Islands Waterhog. Channel Islands hates that board. Britt Merrick uh, has has got public. He hates that board um, wow. because it's just they're so performance mm -hmm. is is what Channel Islands cares about. That that it's like why do we have this fun board in our lineup? Um, but you know, that board is, uh, for a lot of people out here that are listening that are like, you know, getting into the intermediate stage, the mm -hmm. Channel Islands Waterhog is, it's like a wave storm. Mm -hmm. If the wave storm went to high school, mm -hmm. the Waterhog is like a, a wave storm that went to Harvard. Okay. You know, it has real rails. It has a real bottom contour. It has a better outline and it, and it behaves like for most surfers, it behaves like a Swiss army knife where it's okay. always the right board. It's never the best. Um, I like that. I mean, I mean, you can get barreled in it and, um, yeah, it's, it's a cool board. Some people call that shape a mini mal, like, a it's just like a baby longboard sort of pulled in. Yeah. It's funny. Um, <clears throat> kind of like, uh, I don't know, attitudes in surfing, uh, both from consumer side, as well as, uh, like the surfboard manufacturing side or production side. Um, you know, a lot of the brands who were, you know, made their made their money and made their popularity on short, high performance boards. I mean, the last I don't know two or three years, you see all of them now putting out these this kind of like mid length, like uh, you know, uh, options they have maybe right like in their in their offering now. I mean, clearly, I think the uh, the consumers kind of spoken right. I think places like yeah. Album and all these other like yeah. brands that have come up and they're making. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're making a killing, but they're doing well for themselves. They're definitely taking some market share and people are attesting to the performance or the fun that they're having on the boards. Right. So yeah, yeah it's interesting to see even channel islands having, you know, uh, some selection of boards that maybe aren't long board ish, but they're definitely in that mid kind of style. Yeah. The CI mid and the CI uh, tri plane hull is their single fin option with a, a really wild bottom on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. La, da, 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 da.